Coaches, you think you can go to seven on seven and run the same play and win? I'm gonna show you how, next. Coaches, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group Talk Talk series. I'm Coach Coldorf out of North Carolina, and today we're going to talk about running one play for an entire seven on seven. And, and you know, people are going to be like, yo, Coach, that's crazy. And, and I would love to say that I came up with this idea, uh, but, you know, I, I, I went and listened to Patrick Taylor talk um, this spring at the, at the Foothills Clinic up near Charlotte. And, and Pat talks about this concept called open grass reads. And, and, and if you're an air raid guy, you kind of understand open grass reads because that's kind of the foundation of what we do. Um, but Pat, Pat has an interesting way of teaching it. And, and so if you haven't looked at it, look at his book, Open Grass Reads. It's, it's some good stuff. Pat, Pat does a great job up there. And he just got that head coaching job. I think they're going to be really good if we're at his school. But imagine if you went to a seven on seven and you ran four verticals the entire time. Well, coach, my guys would be gassed and yeah, yeah, maybe. But if you ran four verticals the entire time, what you would see would look like you ran 10 different plays if you've taught the play right. And so here's what we're looking at. So if we have, you know, let's just put a basic defense up there. And I'll tell you what, just because we're talking about seven on seven, let's, let's put a, a defense up and, and we'll start off with two shell. Okay, let's start off with two shell, take the lineman out. Okay, now there we go, we got seven on seven. Um, and you know, defenses sometimes like to cheat and put that fourth guy out there, and oh, we're gonna blitz one and take a knee, and of course that never happens, they end up dropping eight. But um, let's look at the, the four vertical concept. So the outside guys are gonna outside release and get on their landmarks, which is the numbers. And the inside guys, landmarks is about a yard, you know, inside or outside the hash, depending on, um, you know, you know where we're lined up. Let's just say we're in the middle of the field. So we want him to get on the hash, and we want him to kind of be on the hash too. You know, you can play with it a little bit, however you want to do. Okay, so what we tell our guys, and I, I love to do this right here. I just love to swing him because it gives the middle of the field open. But you can run little check downs and things like that too, however you want to do it. Um, but what we tell our guys is run into your open, okay? Run into your open. What do you got to do to get open now? And, and so like for H, for instance, right now, he knows that if he runs a quick hitch, he's open. The quarterback is looking in his pre-route progression. He's saying, okay, who is going to be open right now? If there's nobody open right now, then I'm just going to read X, H, Y, Z, R. X, H, X, H, Y, really X, H, Y, R, Z. But, you know, he's going to look like that. But if he sees it right now, okay, H doesn't have a guy over top of him. He's uncovered. He's going to run two or three steps, turn around, catch the ball, and I'm going to throw it to him. Looks like you just ran a quick hitch with your slot. Okay? It looks like you just ran a quick hitch with your slot. And so what route is that? Well, it's four verticals, but now you're throwing a hitch in there. Okay, great. So now you're looking at the next time, let's say this guy is, is over the roof. Got a rooftop guy, they're, they're gonna give you some kind of 4-3 look. Now you don't really have anybody who's open from the giddy up, but they're gonna start reading. And what we try to do to keep it simple is we try to have one guy be the read guy um, a lot of times. Um, and I'm trying to get out of that a little bit. Uh, that's something I'm working on developing is being able to have everybody read. But when we first start teaching six calls, and so if you're a rookie air raid guy, this is how I would suggest you to do it, um, is have one guy be the read guy, whether it be H or Y. For us, it's always been Y because he's kind of usually a big possession guy. And so what we're telling him is, is he's going to get the 10 and then he can pitch out in or keep it going. You know, he can hitch out in or keep it going. And so that's what'll happen. And, and, and all the quarterback is doing as he drops is he's looking for grass. And he's gonna try to throw that guy open. So now it looks like a different route. 
And so you, you play this game, you, you throw a deep ball here, you throw a hitch, you throw an in or a hitch here. And then what if you get cover three? You know, these guys are bailing. And, and this guy knows, if X and Z know that they can't get on top of those guys, you know, if they're playing a true cover three, you know, there's a signal that we have that they're gonna run a stop. And so now you have a stop route on the outside. You can throw back shoulders if you work on those, but you, or you can just throw a quick stop. Okay, so that, that, that's the same route, but it looks different. And so there's other things that you can do. And then eventually towards the end of the session, if you really trust your quarterback, you can allow your quarterback to start tagging stuff. And so he can run six and then tag maybe H on a shallow or Z on a shallow and doing some different things like that. So hopefully this has got your mind working. Can you go to a seven on seven and throw just one play? In yesterday's video, we talked about do you script or do you win? Well, this is a way to script and win. And in the comments down below, what do you think? What are you, what do, you, do you think you can do this? Do you script or you try to win seven on seven? It's seven on seven season. I understand you want to compete, but it doesn't matter. Does winning on seven on seven matter if you don't win on Friday nights in the fall? This has been Coach Cotharp. Always remember, Spin it to win. Coaches, visit 92meshgroup.com for the latest 92 Mesh Group information from video links to uh, links to the to the squadron briefing to links to the squadron meeting room to information on the total air raid system to quick access to the channel and quick access to all of our social media. 92meshgroup.com, your home for the air raid on the internet.